Hello everyone. I am with a new problem today. So uh, again, IR mass and the proton enamel, carbon enamel. So let's uh, see how we can solve this structure. So first of all, the you have to see the molecular formula here. Uh, so molecular formula is given as C8H7N and is a nitrogen so let's calculate the soda number here so x plus one minus y minus number of nitrogen by two so x is the carbon number eight plus one minus y is the hydrogen number seven minus number of nitrogen is one by two so nine minus six over two that means three and ultimately we are getting six so the rule of thumb as i said before that if we have soda number four or more than four so we can think of like we have aromatic ring which is count for four now to confirm that we need to look on the carbon enamel and proton enamel so carbon enamel if you have the carbon peak above 110 to around 160 so we can say this is aromatic carbon peak as well as also in the aromatic proton aromatic peak is like 6.5 to 8.5 there is a peak so that means it has a aromatic ring or benzene ring so um, now we have the soda number four for the benzene ring still we have two more uh, soda remaining so in that case 4 minus 6 minus 4 equal to 2 so we have to find out that soda number so since we have the nitrogen in this molecular formula let's see the IR in the IR I told like if you have the nitrogen first look for the uh, carbon and uh, sorry look for the primary amine so uh, we, primary amine means like um, an H2 sorry let's see is it so as a primary amine you should have nitrogen with two hydrogen in that case you should see uh, around 3400 and 3300 like two different band like this but it is not here so it cannot be prim uh, primary amine now if we think it is a secondary amine so like if we have two alkyl group or like two connecting group and one hydrogen still we should have one band in the same region so there is no band there too and so it could this nitrogen could be this moly um, this nitrogen in the molecule could be either the tertiary amine like no hydrogen in it or the nitrile group so before deciding that it is tertiary we also need to look for the nitrile group so what is the nitrile group nitrile group is carbon carbon triple bond and sorry carbon nitrogen triple bond cn and that has always a band or peak around 2200 to 2300 so here we see that there is a band so 20, 2251 so that is proving that we have a, a nitrile group c the triple bond n and for a triple bond the soda number is two so because one double bond soda number one but triple bond so it equivalent to two double bond so the soda number is one uh sorry two so now we have the um from from the ir and the soda number calculation we have the functional group nitrile and also we have the benzene ring so how many carbon we have total eight in the benzene ring how many carbon six in the nitrile group how many carbon one six plus one seven still we have one carbon missing let's see if we can give get more um idea from the uh, proton nmr and the carbon nmr so in the carbon enamel there is an aliphatic carbon around um, 30 
or 25 or something like this so that is aliphatic so that carbon could be uh, ch3 or ch2 but how many proton um, um, in this carbon so in the dept if you see look on the dept and we always know the dept always give you the ch2 carbon downward so see this carbon is giving downward so we can say this carbon is ch2 peak like ch2 carbon okay now the benzene ring how it that benzene ring is there so actually uh, as i mentioned if you have two doublet in that region like aromatic region so you can think uh, it is one foot di substituted but in the aromatic region when you have all together as a like multiplet so in that case like uh, it is like multiplet like this so uh, and if the integral value is bigger so in that case you can think this peak could be for mono substituted benzene ring another way since we know that the aliphatic carbon uh, that aliphatic carbon is ch2 carbon that means that uh, in the proton um, spectra that peak is for the ch2 peak to hydrogen so if you think this integration value the integral length this is for two hydrogen so if you con consider in the aromatic region so maybe equivalent to two hydrogen and there is another equivalent two hydrogen and one hydrogen so total five hydrogen so the total five hydrogen and giving you one signal in the aromatic region that means that benzene ring is we have the benzene ring and that benzene ring is mono substituted that means it has five proton in it which is coming all together and one hand is empty now that one or from all this information what we have we have this five hydrogen containing benzene ring and one ch2 so one ch2 which will give you a peak around 3.5 because it is next to connected to the benzene ring also next to connected to the nitrile group so the structure should be like this so this will be the structure so now let's see in a clear form how we can see this structure so just this is a ch2 peak and this is like benzene ring with a five proton so we can say five proton benzene ring and here two proton benzene ring that means ch2 and the benzene uh, th this five proton for benzene ring and from the ir we clearly confirm that we have a nitrile group so this is the structure final structure so in a fresh way we can draw this uh, structure um, so we can say this structure could be like this so ch2 c triple bond n so this is the final structure i hope you enjoyed this video and you you are learning slowly from the spectral um, uh, information how to solve the structure so if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe thank you for watching bye now